What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Team Kelo. What? Here we are again with another incredible unboxing. Today we're gonna be unboxing for you the T Foul Total Nonstick Skillet Set, which is a set of three reported at Costco. Once again, it was about $40, $50. Very excited to test them out. T Foul has been like the go to when it comes down to cookware and nonstick. So I'm, I cannot wait to put it to the test. I don't know anything about these pans. I'm just going blindfolded straight in and <laughs> let's As see usual, what happens. You know, it's like not the cook person. But here we go. Let's see what's inside. Let's go. All right, so here we have a skillet number one. It's pretty nice. It has the, uh, at the bottom, the little ridges for, I guess, evenly distributing heat so that when you're in a, uh, cooking the heat is evenly distributed yep so this is um skillet number two this is the medium medium pan as you can see and see the ridges in the back what do you think about the them having their t file brand name on it i think it's a little scary because i feel like this red thing is gonna i know it's gonna, it's gonna, gonna to bleed the food. into the food yeah i know i don't like that i don't know about this red thing yeah. inside i mean it's already enough maybe they could have like edged it in like they yeah. did at the bottom but that red thing makes me think like I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna be eating red paint yeah uh, uh, that's one thing that I, i'm not really happy with finally we got the smallest piece it's a small one and it looks yep. kind of nice it's sturdy it's like for eggs like you know to fry single leg or something like that that looks pretty good all right so here they are the three t file sizes so i know we talked a little bit about this red dot that's in the middle of it but actually actually there is a purpose for the dot so when you're cooking your meals and you're preheating the pot you have to wait until the bright red turns into like a darker, a red, darker red and that is the optimal time to start cooking cooking your meal very interesting i mean it is i am still afraid that it'll bleed over but the fact that it's telling me that that's the perfect temperature for me to start cooking my meals that's a plus they must have tested out quite a bit uh the other thing that i like about it is it's very nice and round it's a very thick it has a nice thickness to the pan it has a nice sturdiness you feel that in the handle yeah let me see uh not not right now okay. but mentioning about the handle this I, I have to double check to see if it's actually oven safe. This is not. This does not look like it's something that is oven safe. So the handle is oven safe up to 350 degrees. Okay. So this is a, um, a titanium non uh, non stick scratch resistant interior. Stick. So, so far it is resisting my scratches. You can actually put some metal surfaces on it. I mean, obviously not too much. But we're we're gonna we're we're, we're not gonna. Uh, yeah, the, the idea is that you're supposed to be able to use hard utensils such as metal and not scratch the items, but we're about to find out because to be 100% honest, I don't believe a lot of the hype. So we have a few items that we're going to put it to the test just to see how well these items cook. Let's get to test that out. As you can tell, we're going to put them on. We slightly washed them up, but these lines are supposed to disappear. When they disappeared, they will be ready to start cooking. So we're going to put that to the test. We're going to test this out without any oil or butter. butter. Correct. This is are a non sure? and they're supposed to work. So it's been a few minutes, and we're waiting for the lines to disappear. <laughs> well there you go waiting for the lines to disappear as you can see it's starting to get a little darker which is what we're Faded, looking for yeah. so we get a little bit more and then we should be ready to go they recommend to put it in medium heat and although they say that we should be using some type of grease you now has insisted that we don't do that so finally 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 the little dots um have disappeared yep you see that there's no dots in There's the middle. There's no dots in the middle. So yeah. that means the pan, the pan is ready it's to go. Ready to go. So are you sure you don't want to use none of the cooking stuff? No. All right, cool. We're gonna we go. go. We're gonna go straight in without any hesitation. The egg test. Do you like your eggs over medium? Over medium. Yep. Over medium, please. All right, cool. Over medium, it is. Here it goes. All right, so we're gonna. Wow, this thing came off. 
It looks like it's not. Okay, so, um, nope, nothing. Nothing stuck to the pan. Stuck to the spatula too. But yeah, no, actually, yeah, look, it's a little bit stuck there. But I do have to say that for items such as eggs and some of the other things, you need to have a little bit of oil. I think that we should retest it soon. Oh, but this is stuck. Look at this. I mean, it's easy to scrape off, but this egg is definitely going to be over. All right, so I think I'm done with this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, uh, how many stars do you give it for egg non-stickability? Um, I think the egg's full for itself. <laughs> but I, we, we're going to do another test with a little bit of oil. But for now, this is done. So, all right, that's go. test number one. Test number one done. Uh, I guess the egg didn't do so well. No, all no, right, cool. Test number two. Test number two. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Go. Get that sizzle. All right, so let's see what happens now. We have the sizzle. This is supposed to, oh, non-stick. Okay, looks pretty good. Looks like it's actually non-sticking. The f I, I, one thing though that I do have to mention, uh, these items that are packaged, they do contain a small amount of fat. So I'm thinking that that's the reason why that didn't happen. I want to test out the egg again with, with a little bit of a little bit of oil. Uh, or we, can, we can try it in this one as well. Okay. So you as you can see, this thing just went straight in. The turkey, the turkey passed. I think that's a pass. It's a pass. It's a pass. I want to try the egg. We are gonna add this time a little bit of cooking spray so that. Um, all right, just to see. All right, here we go. Let's lay it down. And I think we should stick within the that cooking surface. Yep, the ridges because I think that's where it has all the non-stick um, material on it. So let's see. We're gonna give it a few seconds and see if that was well, that egg was kind of delicious. And by the way, we are eating all these items. We're not wasting them. No food will be wasted in okay, the making of so this video. Here you go. Take half of this for now. Sure, it's here hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's flip that egg. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right. This is without cooking spray. Look. So, T-Fowl, thank you for the instructions and letting us know we should have used some oil. Yeah, now said no. This is not a stick. We go with not a stick. All right. So, I think that's good over medium. All right, all right, cool. So well, let's put it in there. All right, here we go. So. All right, these eggs are done. Okay. So this is sort of a Dominican trifecta. Normally we like to have a tres golpe. And if you know what a tres golpe is, it's usually a meat. She, uh, dairy, a uh, dairy, and also eggs. So right now, here we have string yeah! cheese, which is gonna go straight into that pan to see if it can withstand it. You ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Okay. Can the string cheese not stick to the non-stick pan? Here we go, T-Fowl, you're on the clock. So right. far, I see some little edges there. Let's see. Ooh, I see the edges there. Ooh, so far. Yeah. Well, wow. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. All right. What? Okay. 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 Cheese is All right. right Cheese is coming right off. We can just pour it right on here on this one. So nothing's wow. wow. This is really nice. Okay. T-Fowl. T-Fowl. You did really good here. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. You're going to do the other side too? You know, you got to okay. you know, okay. for our audience. Wow, look at that. You got some skills flipping cheese there. There you go. Anybody want me to make some cheese? I got you. Don't cut the cheese, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think this is a pass. It looks yeah, good. it's a pass. Let's see. No, no, no. No, no, no. You just dump it straight here. Let's see how it's going to do. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. 
That looks pretty good. All right. So to clean this, you basically take a little bit of uh, damp, um, damp cloth or something like that. Towel with towel. some tongue so you don't get burned. And then you just wipe the down and wow. it should be coming off. And it did, it did, it looks pretty good. I'm actually not getting burned like the first video that I did. I learned my lesson. Yeah, but you're actually burning my stove right behind it. See that? Oops. See what you're doing? There, there you go. Okay. Good job. Sorry. All right. So, pretty all good. right. That's pretty good. So, I guess, you know, that's good for test number three. We got one more little test. So, for all you seafood lovers out there, I'm sure you guys enjoy a nice little shrimp. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to... No, a little bit of butter in there. That's a lot. You're putting too much. Not a lot of butter, you know. Stop complaining about it. All right, cool. Here we go. We're going to throw this in there. See how it does. All yeah. right. All right, cool. So here we go. Um, yeah, that's it. They're pretty much done. So this should be done. Unless... They're pretty much done. So... Again, we could just dump them right into the plate. A little shrimp scampi that Alex decided to, you know, throw down in yeah, a few course. seconds. Second test of the cleaning system process. All right. Looks pretty good. So this uh, T-File uh, skillet set nonstick. It's a good buy for it's 40 a good buy. bucks. For $40, it's I think it's a great buy because it's very simple, very seamless. It does work well nonstick. And then one of the things, the, the, the red stayed on the on the pot, so yeah. <laughs> it didn't come off on we're the food. Not gonna, we're not going to be not, poisoned. Yep, so I think it's a, it's a good buy. It's a, it's good, a buy. good buy. So everyone, this is it. I'm really happy with the T-File. I think they stood the test of time. Yeah, I mean, the product is great and uh, it performed. It really did. Uh, what do you think about those little red lines? You were really scared I think with that. I was afraid of them, honestly, but but it works. It actually, a novice like myself, it told me when to start cooking, which is a great idea. I like that idea. So, T-Fowl, so thumbs up, thumbs for, up that. for that. For people who don't know exactly when to throw something on the fire, this lets you know. Exactly. So, I like yeah. like that. That was pretty good. Uh, what about the handle? What the, do you think about it? The handle was pretty good. Um, you know, handled pretty well, and it got a little warm, but not to the point where I got to you know to get burned. All right. So please remember to follow the instructions that the manufacturer gives you, and they actually instructed that we what add a little bit of oil, or this might be happening to you, which is eggs and stuff like that getting stuck. Because Unless you want scrambled, they have no yes. Unless you want scrambled, they, because they have very little fat, and they, they will not work. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, we put these pants to the test. So uh, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. And we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next Team one. Team Kello, Kello Watch. Watch.